Hello, I should take these headphones off. I hope you're all well. I am just back from my lovely morning walk uh, with Remy. We always walk the pier in Dunleary. It's like our little morning routine. It's so lovely. Um, so I just got back. I had a little bit of food and I've started the kind of Friday morning clean. Um, it's a nice thing to do on a Friday morning, just ahead of the weekend, just to give the apartment a little going over so we can just be cozy and enjoy it all weekend. I thought it would be nice to share it and I'm excited to take you along for the weekend. So right now I'm going to finish the clean and then I'm gonna jump in the shower. I'm gonna wash my hair. Um, I have a little bit of work to do today. I have a video that I need to finish that's going up later, um, a YouTube and a Reels. And then I have a call with a brand at 2 p.m. And I also have some invoicing and accounty things to do. So plenty of time I will get all that done today So just before I jump in the shower, I'm just gonna quickly show you what my kind of daily walking outfit looks like. Again, not terribly exciting, but we are doing a lot of walking and I've had a lot of interest from people about like what I like to wear and what's comfortable because I do a good, at least an hour walk in the mornings down on the pier. It's windy and blustery. So you kind of need to make sure you're the right temperature. And then I go out with Remy then for a second walk then in the evening. So I always, always start with these caps. So these new era ones are nice and slim, which I really like. They're a unisex cap, but I find they're like a perfect fit for my head. I have this in the gray color. I also have it in black and I just ordered it in a really beautiful, deep green. Caps are essential, keeps the sun off my head. I can either do a ponytail or um, like a bun with a mask in it. Then I have a fleece. So this is amazing for a nice bit of warmth and it is so, so cozy. So this is just a man's fleece from ASOS. And I actually was talking on my Insta stories this week about shopping in the men's section. It is one of my favorite things to do for fleeces, hoodies, joggers, socks. This cap, I think I got it from the men's section, even though it's unisex. I actually just did another order on ASOS ASOS and that arrived today. So I'll show you what's in that later, but I'll do it after I go for a shower because I'm roasted from walking and cleaning the house. But just quickly then, these leggings, they are the absolute best. These are the Nike Sculpt. They're super high-waisted. They are super flattering. So I love these for walking because they keep my legs warm, but also they're just really, really comfortable. Uh, and I won't show you my walking shoes because I'm currently wearing slippers. So obviously I'm not walking the beer in these guys. Actually, I just got these from ASOS and I love them. They have this like woven thing, but I like that your toes aren't out because sometimes with slippers, I like my toes to be cozy, but I will link them below. I think they were like 12 pounds or something incredible like that and I am loving them. Okay, so I really need to go for a shower and fix this so I will talk to you afterwards. Okay, so that is my makeup almost done. I just need to do my brows and my mascara. My brow lamination is still going strong. I'm so happy with it. All I need to do is give them a brush, but I'm feeling like I could probably retint them. I think it's been about three, four weeks since I tinted them. It's such a handy treatment. I shared the video a few videos back, a few weeks back. It was one of the first ones I put up. So if you're interested in an at-home brow lamination or the easier one, which is an at-home brow tint, can't recommend them enough. They're so easy. The brow tint is the one that I feel like for how little effort it takes, it makes such a difference. So I'll link those below. So then I'm just gonna do my mascara and I have a new one that actually just got sent in with a press drop. It's the Lash Idole from Lancome. It's the same collection as the Idole fragrance, which is beautiful. I really like that kind of brush. I like a plastic comb like bristles so i actually have high hopes for this the lashes have also gotten a lift and a tint in the past month or so Ooh, 
Oh, it's great for combing them. Oh, that's very good. So my thing with mascara is I love to go in with a like empty mascara tube. Like if you look at this, this has that comb style. And then I like to brush out what I've just done while the lashes are still wet. Does that make sense? I feel like it gives it a really natural look. Okay, so I am freshly showered, feeling great. I'm not going to style my hair or put any heat on it. I just kind of roughly blow dried it uh, because I'll be styling it tomorrow because I think I'm gonna spend my Saturday afternoon filming my next few cocktail videos for my YouTube channel. It's like my other YouTube channel. It's so much fun. So I'll do that tomorrow. Um, but for now, I wanna show you some of those packages that arrive. Okay, so I have this one from ASOS. So I told you I was having a moment with the fleeces. So I ordered two fleeces from the men's section. So yeah, very similar to the fleece that I had on earlier. Um, this feels a tiny bit lighter, which is actually quite nice. I think it was nine pounds. Um, I shop in ASOS on Sterling, by the way. I got a pack of wide sports socks. I got them in the larger size. So these are really big and cozy. This was the second fleece. This is a gorgeous burgundy color. I'll hold it out to the light. Yeah, if I turn it this way, you can see. Super happy with this, can't wait to wear them. These are very classic, a pair of black biker shorts. You just cannot go wrong. I got these in a size 10, which I'm actually very happy with because I did not want them to be too tight. I think these are gonna fit really, really nicely. And yeah, they're pretty self-explanatory. Like bicycle shorts are my uniform in the summer. I just wear bicycle shorts and t-shirts in the house all day. So yeah, I'm just trying to focus on practical stuff that I can wear right now. And obviously coming into summer, I mean, I am just so excited to get all my summer stuff out. I also have my tennis gear, which I will be wearing as soon as I can start playing tennis again. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Just a very quick moment for our stunning new kettle. It's by Hayden and I got it in Argos. Like it looks like a whistling kettle that you'd have on like an agar or something. I love it. Anyway, let's turn it on, make some tea. So it is almost 5 p.m. So my work is pretty much done. I just have to put my vlog live, which is a what I eat in a day, and then I have a reels to go along with it. Very excited to share both of those things. And then you best believe I will be making a stunning cocktail. What will I make this evening? I have to say my bar cart is very well stocked. So myself and Yosef have a little bit of a routine on Fridays where we make cocktails and then we watch an old movie, like a classic film. I love like the old Hollywood film noir kind of vibes, but just something classic that we haven't seen before. We watched Casablanca, we watched The Big Sleep, we watched Cool Hand Luke, we watched Sunset Boulevard last week. What a movie, how have I never seen it? If you have any recommendations for classic movies that we can watch on the weekend while we're drinking our cocktails, please let me know because I'd love to hear them. Before we get into the cocktail making and we figure out what we're gonna order for dinner, I have three random Amazon purchases that I wanna show you. Okay, so here are three random things that I ordered off Amazon. These things arrived this week, this actually arrived. Oh, there's Remy. Oh, hello Remy, you haven't made an appearance in the vlog at all today. How are you? Remy, hello. How are you? Very good, very good. How's it going, tails wagging? So these two guys only arrived yesterday and then this was something that I bought, um, I think maybe two weeks ago. So this guy is basically a USB charged lighter and it lights them so fast. Look at that like so fast. So it's really handy. I just keep it turned off and then I turn it on if I obviously want to light a candle or something, but it's really cool. Look at that. It's like a taser. Like how cool is that? So yeah, I've been using that and it's really pretty. It's like a really slim, you know, not bulky lighter. So I really like that. This guy, I'm gonna bring you over to the couch to show you. So this is basically like that thing that I keep seeing all over TikTok. It's called like a chom chom. It works like a Hoover, but it's handheld <laughs> and it's really easy to use in between the Hooverings. Do you know what I mean? Like I'd probably Hoover the couch. Well, I would Hoover the couch every day, 
but it's good to have, you know? So look at that. When Remy's dog hair is on it, you, you really see the difference with this. So it basically has like a squeegee and then some sort of material and then it catches in there. Yes, pretty handy. So I'll leave a link to it below. I love a good Amazon purchase. This guy, I'm especially excited about. The bobble remover. Um, maybe you've heard about these things. If you have like a cashmere jumper or joggers or even leggings, I find my leggings get bobbly. This is supposed to fix it. And the idea is that it prolongs the life of your fabric, stops you from getting rid of things. When they're, you know, they're still good, they just need a bit of TLC. So I'm really excited to use this. What do you think, Rem? She's sniffing my other delivery, which I might as well just show you. So I bought their ceramic oil diffuser um, and I actually have, <laughs> I have two oil diffusers already. So Yosef was like, why are you getting another one? But I wanted one for our bedroom, one for my office and one for the sitting room. So, oh my God, it's beautiful. Oh, it's really good quality. It's like, like a vase. That's gorgeous. So this is our other one. This one is from Brown Thomas. It is plastic. It looks like decent, but it is plastic. And then this one, just to compare is, it's like a thicker kind of material. You can see the Brown Thomas one is going away there. So I think I'll put this one in the bedroom and then I will put the one in the bedroom in my office. This is her favorite thing to do is to lie on her little perch it's a gorgeous footstool from Navin Sofa Factory. It's beautiful. It's the exact same material and fabric as the couch, but we actually put these cushions on it because it makes it extra cozy for her and she absolutely loves it. do every time we order a takeaway. We pretend that there's something in the bag for Remy. That's how sad. Oh, a dog owner. What is it, Remy? She's got it. She's got it. Oh my goodness. Good morning. Good morning, Remy. Uh, it is what is it, nine o'clock? Had a gorgeous sleep in, back in the cap and the walking gear. Here's Remy, ready to say good morning. There's a bakery in Dunleary called Strudel and they have such a demand for their pastries on the weekend that they have created like an ordering system online. If you want them on Saturday morning, you have to order Wednesday at 4 p.m. on the button because they sell out. So you best believe I had my alarm set. I literally felt like I was trying to get Beyonce tickets. I was like logging in on the laptop making sure I had my cart ready to go. Anyway, we secured the bag. We're gonna walk down, uh, give this one a bit of a morning walk, and then we're gonna go and get the pastries. They're worth the fuss, like, they're outrageously good. Oh, Remy, you're very cute. So it's a little bit later and I have my hair done, my makeup done, and I'm just about to set up to start filming for my cocktail videos. So I'm gonna show you what the kitchen looks like um, because obviously I turned it into my little studio. I need to fill up this space. Then I need to get my camera set up. There's my tripod. I have my ring light is here. So I'm gonna set up and then I can start filming. quickly 
checking to see if I have Nutella on my face. No, I don't. I filmed my cocktail videos earlier. So much fun. It was such crack. And then myself and Joseph had lunch. I just chilled. I feel like kind of a good move that I made was to give myself some projects over the weekend. So it just gives me something like chunky to focus on over the weekend. So I don't feel like I'm too idle because I don't know about you, but for me, if it's it's when I'm not busy that I'm more likely to just miss normal life, which is so normal, you know? And now my plan for the evening, because like I said, it's only 6 p.m. I really wanna redo my manicure. So these are my current nails. I do an at-home gel manicure, but this is Shellax Negligee. I'll link it in the description, it's great. So I'm gonna redo my manicure. I'm gonna take off this shellac because it needs to come off. I think it's been on for at least two weeks and I'm gonna attempt my first attempt at nail art for Valentine's. That is my plan for the evening. I probably won't film too much more after that because I think I'll just chill out, hopefully, they turn out how I want them to, so wish me luck. Good morning, it is Sunday. So I'm just back from a quick walk outside with Remy. The weather is awful. Um, I think it was promised to snow this weekend, but it's just windy and cold. I had a very cozy Saturday evening. It was really nice. I did my nails. I'm actually so happy with how it turned out. Like for someone who only did their gel nails for the very first time, I don't know, maybe in November. I'm so happy with them. So I went with kind of like a French tip, but in red, because obviously it is Valentine's Day next week. I didn't want to get into the whole process of it because I have a video on my channel, just a few videos back, all about how I do my gel manicure at home. I use really affordable products. It's really easy to do. Um, obviously this kind of little nail art tip takes a little bit more time, but I did use these really handy French tip guides that I just picked up on Amazon for like four or five pounds. And the colors are colors I already have. I find it's just a really, really nice way to switch off. It's very like relaxing, I find. And I just watch Netflix or listen to an audiobook, and yeah, I'm loving, loving doing them. So I'm definitely gonna attempt some more. So yeah, today is Sunday. Yosef is actually out for a swim, like an absolute psychopath. He sea swims pretty much all year around. What I usually do on Sundays is like my reset day and I've already covered this in a previous vlog all about the things that I do on a Sunday to kind of get me ready for the week. It's a little bit of self-care, a little bit of organizing, planning, like strategizing for the week ahead. First thing I did was grab a cup of tea and work out my schedule for next week, like a rough idea. So it's about quarter past 10 now. So I'm going to make some breakfast for myself and for Remy and then I'm going to cozy up in front of my computer and I'm going to get my next cocktail video edited. It does take quite a few hours, but it is it is enjoyable. I just get really cozy, have lots of tea and get it done. So I'm going to do that. And then myself and Yosef are probably gonna go out for a longer walk with Remy later. I'm hoping the rain clears up for it. I'm sure it will. Okay, so this is breakfast. It is <laughs> some really weird looking toast. The top parts of it like fell off before I put it in the toaster. Loads of Nutella, bananas, honey, cinnamon, and some desiccated coconut flakes. And then I have a steam hot cup of tea and I was just doing a little bit of planning but I'm gonna eat this I'm gonna watch something really quickly on my laptop while I'm enjoying this and then I need to get to my other computer and actually start editing oh my goodness I have come with the goods Just freezing cold hands <laughs> amazing <gasps> it's warm it's a sausage roll oh my goodness <gasps> is that an almond croissant oh sweet Jesus you sweet, sweet angel. So that's how the sea looked this morning. Oh my goodness. You couldn't pay me now to get into that. Yeah, we, we didn't go in that side, we were around the other side of those camera. Okay, so it is several hours later. I am cozied up in bed, as you can probably tell. I have my brow growth serum, my castor oil on my brows. I have my lash growth serum, and then I have like conditioning mascara. I've got my retainer in. 
the works. So I thought I would end the vlog here. I kind of wanted to just give a look at a typical lockdown weekend, nothing terribly exciting, and just show you guys what we're getting up to and you know how we're like making our own fun. As always, any of the products that I mentioned will be linked down in the description below. So if you're looking for anything, it will be there. If you'd like to see more vlog style videos like this, then do give it a thumbs up and let me know. And if you have not already, then be sure to subscribe to my channel. I'm posting new videos multiple times a week and I would love to have you back for more. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye!